Colton loves to play the piano and he will beat and bang and drive you nuts with it and we just love it. Her son's playing is music to Liz Renner's ears. The eight-year-old suffered a traumatic brain injury at the hands of a babysitter when he was just four months old. Some doctors doubted he would even survive. Crying is the most common trigger for abusive head trauma. Dr. Melissa Curry is one of four Kentucky pediatricians specializing in abuse. On Wednesday, 10-4, she hosted a 10-4 training. There often are early warning signs. 10 stands for torso, ears, and neck, places that shouldn't be bruised, especially in children under four. She works in partnership with COSAIR for Kids, who a decade ago promised to work to end child abuse. We're proud that over the last 10 years, we've grown from a movement of 10 partners, all local, to a movement of 150 partners statewide. But sadly, we still have work to do. Now, as far as the number of child abuse and neglect cases, Kentucky is among the worst. A pediatrician specializing in abuse tells me each year in the Commonwealth, there are about 30 cases of abusive head trauma. Meanwhile, lesser forms of physical abuse, she says, are reported every single day. The good news is that the training on early recognition has moved the needle where we're seeing physical abuse being detected earlier. Um, before it has progressed to abusive head trauma. Um, and that's the importance of the 10 4 bruising rule. Liz Renner is working for Change 2. She now shares her family's experience educating others on how to detect and prevent child abuse. I could sit and wallow in self pity all day, but um, I want to find the good in it. I told the doctor, the forensic pediatrician, early on. I'm going to do something with this. And she has, in hopes of saving another mother from her heartache. Lauren Adams, WLKY News.